Okay, shalom y'all. Uh, welcome back to our happy Hebrew family. Or well, welcome if you're new. Um, jumping right in today's video is Joshua's room. So yeah, this is pretty much me at progress. We are um, building him a um, built-in bunk bed. We're trying to get him settled in his room, uh, trying to get some cleaning and organizing done. So while babe is building his bed, I am cleaning, sort of cleaning around him as much as I can anyway. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going into his space over here. So, so far, as you can see, he has the, the ladder built. Josh has already climbed up into his bed and it, he loves it. And so, um, yeah, of course, you know, it, it's going to need to be, have some finishing work done to it. Um, stain or not stain. Cause I, I don't, I think I'm going to try to leave it a natural wood tone and just do a polycrylic on it as well as, um, on the, the enclosure parts. I think I'm going to paint them white just to give it a nice, fresh, clean look in here. And the white that I'm going to paint it will probably end up being, um, the, alabaster color white by Sherwin Williams that's all over the house because I wanted to have that built-in look um but like I said the pretty part of the wood all this framing here there and now I think I'm gonna keep that um a really nice light um natural color so that it blends into the floor so that we can have a nice bright um um room that he can grow into so that's that and then I have my work cut out for me as far as his uh, closet organization. So you guys, I'm getting ready to rework that little unit. I'm, I am going to leave these wire shelving in here. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. It just needs to be reconfigured. So that's what I'm going to do here in a minute. So this is the before. Of course, you can see his toys. There's his little Coco truck that his TT Keisha bought him. He had started coloring it and then we had to fold it up to get it packed up so that we can uh, finish some other projects and then once he gets ready to move back into his room or back in or in his room um, we'll get it set up for him and finish coloring and get it taped together and whatever he'll have a nice little play area in here that is this black thing here is the base of his little fort his little TP fort thing that we got from um, I think I got it from Target so it's got the little loops that connect to the bottom of the TP, the four posts that come with it. So that's that. And so, yeah, and then Kennedy left her purse over here. So I forgot to return that to her. And then we went to Target a little bit ago and got some bins. So you'll see that when I um, organize the closet. So, yeah, it just needs to be cleaned and straightened and organized. And I got him some little bin labels so that I can make sure he keeps his little clothes and stuff tidy I also picked this up from Target it's a nine bin storage rack and it's actually um that's going to be for his toys so I think what I'm going to do because see this this was supposed to be primarily for his Legos he has a million Lego pieces y'all and I guess in transition and us moving about through the renovation it just got a bunch of random stuff thrown in there. So what I'm going to do is separate his toys. Just leave that onto the uh, Legos. And then I'm going to put the lid on it because the lid is there. And then the rest of the toys are going to go in that nine cube uh, storage system. So, yeah, we got we picked that up at Target today. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much it. His mattress, we had to take it off and get everything. So what I'm going to do is sanitize his mattress again. Put some essential oils mixed with some baking soda on it. Get it nice and clean and sanitized and deodorized. Um, I'm washing his sheets. Um, he has a pair of gray and white sheets that I really want to use. So I think I may try to find those. They're somewhere around here. We we started unpacking all of the um, we started unpacking all of the boxes with the linens and towels and stuff in it. So it's just a process of me trying to get everything situated and organized. These are paper blinds um, until I get some drapes or I see something that I really want to put in here. But I, I really would like to do the cellular blinds, the cordless cellular blinds. I saw them at Lowe's and so I may go back 
and see how much those are going to be because he gets a lot of sunlight from this window here those windows he gets sunlight and then definitely that window and then he can look out his window and see Kennedy's window in their house all the way down there so um, yeah I mean this is I, I am in love with how everything is turning out as you can see Babe has quite a mess and my job is to clean it up as he is uh, our resident contractor and carpenter so and I don't mind it at all because Babe works really hard to make sure that we have nice and durable things in our house but um, <clears throat> let me just kind of walk out through what Babe's doing. So, are you working on the base of it, on the lower bunk yet? No, I'm still doing the trim out. Okay, so Babe is trying to finish up the trim out, which I'll pan up there in just a moment. Um, and then after he does the trim out, um, which this this piece here is already primed, so that's part of the piece that's gonna get painted white. Um, and then the other piece that I'm think the other pieces is, is what I was telling y'all I'm a, try to leave natural a natural finish to kind of bring out the floors. So I just wanted to be light and bright and cheerful in here. So that's the look we're going for. <clears throat> and we got a lot of alabaster paint left, which is the color, the wild color, Sherman Williams alabaster for throughout the whole house. <clears throat> so we got a lot of that paint left, so that's what I'm gonna end up painting the painted portion of the bed. And so, babe is doing that. And I'm gonna go in our room and put together um, his bin storage rack and organize all his clothes, organize all of his clothes and stuff so that I can come in here and do what I need to do in the closet. So, y'all just stay tuned. see all this and my concept was to make something in case our grants spend the night mm -hmm. but that Josh ain't gonna have it in his way so simple as you pull this out a little bit fold it up here comes the Joshy and then the desk will come down and lock it into place right everybody following that okay so I and then when it's time to use you fold the desk up and then lay this back down and there you go. Bam. Boom. Works for me. Works for me. And so now we just have some fitness and touches to do. Yeah, I got to put the uh, support legs on, which will be hinged. Mm -hmm. So when it goes up, they'll fold, they'll fold up under here. Well, mm -hmm. right. So the idea was once we fold up the Murphy bunk bed and the desk folds down that secures the bed in place, we wanted to have... Uh, Josh to have a, a, a dry erase board and something he can draw on right here at the desk so he'll have a little roll around chair something not, not stationary that he can push into uh, out of the way when we pull the bed down but that when we put the bed up he can roll the chair up underneath the desk and there you go 
So we just had to work out some design flaws as we go because we're doing this with no plans. Babe had this idea in his head and we just kind of came together on it and this is what we came up with. So, But we'll end up showing you the finished product. Show uh, them I'm up here. We'll be back. All right. All right, y'all. Welcome back and shalom. And so this is the, I would say, 99% finished road tour for Josh. Okay, so um, let me start over here. So this was an existing TP that he had, um, and I just, you know, reworked it and and um, and straightened it back out. Put it over here in the corner. And so uh, he loves to go climb in here and play with his toys and everything. So I, I thought it'd be, you know, I thought it important to make sure he got his teepee up. Um, here, this is a rug that I actually got from Lowe's. It is an Allen & Roth rug. I'm not really sure if um, it's still available. It's 5 by 7 Is that not correct, babe? 5 by 7 It's a 5 by 7 rug. Um, as you all, as you, well, while we're on the flooring, um, this is Smart Core Lanier Hickory flooring. Um, if we hadn't mentioned it already, and we have it all throughout the house, with the exception of the two bathrooms, which stay tuned because we have to show you our bathroom renovations. But anyway, they built this. For Josh, I love, love, love this little fort bunk bed. Um, there's some things going on with it, and I'll let Babe uh, demonstrate what's going on with the bed. So we'll come back to that, but I really love it. So it was, it's, you know, of course it's solid wood, and I, I wanted it to pop. I wanted it to be clean and neutral, but kind of edgy. And I wanted something that would be able to grow with him as he gets older. And so, yeah, I, this is what we came up with. The color on here is Tricorn. It's Tricorn, right? Tricorn by Sherwood Williams. Uh, Tricorn Black. So I love this. This is also the paint that we use on the table legs. If you saw that video, if not, we'll list, we'll put it in the cards so that you can check that video out. How we. Um, you know, fit, uh, finish the eight foot table that we got. Um, so, again, we have the very high end paper blinds, which we are working on getting some just cordless white blinds because I like the layered look. So, we're going to do cordless, cordless white blinds first, and then I'll go back over it with some curtains. So, I like it to be a little layered and everything. Um, His outlets still have to be changed out. Right, outlets still have to be changed out. Just really minute things. That's why I said like 99% done. Um, the the little placards, the little uh, art on the walls, those all came from Hobby Lobby. I love those little placards. Um, and then TV, he has a white LG TV on the swivel mount. And he can you know adjust it how he needs to. It's LG, like I said, it's white, so it goes with the aesthetic in the room. And we got it from Big Lots. No, Best Buy. Uh, why did I say Big Lots? What is wrong with me today? I can't talk. Cuckoo for cocoa Puffs. Right. <laughs> anyway, we got it from Best Buy. Um. So yeah, this is uh, I love this TV. It's not, you know, it, it kind of like. It makes it feel like a kid's room for some reason to me. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, sheets came from Target. Those are pillow fort sheets, uh, twin XL. So we love them. So on the bottom bunk, we just got the the arrow, the black and white arrow fitted sheet and the white flat sheet on top with the pillowcase. And then I did the reverse up there. Um, as you can see, uh, Josh is very, very happy with his room. And then over here, I got this uh, little accordion um, hook system from Five and Below, if you can believe that. Um, so yeah, it was five bucks. And it's really, really cute. It's sturdy. 
um and i i love this and so he can hang his little hats and jackets and his backpack this is his little backpack that he takes over to his mama's house so we left that there this came from target um it came with like 108 letters and so you know we'll interchange them as we need to and, and, so, and so on and so forth but i found this um right around in that pillow fort section and it was on clearance so if it's still available you know go check it out it's really really cool it's just got the little you know little uh pop letters on there um and then his tt keisha got him this this is like um just it's, it's like a little measuring uh what would you call it a picture like a hanging, a hanging wall hanging a hanging rule stick well mr uh happy hebrew Handyman, happy Hebrew hubby, <laughs> made a point of making sure that these measurements are accurate. So if you can see on the floor, this one hung it and made sure that the measurement was accurate. Because where I hung it, that wooden part was kind of like touching the floor. So it was off two inches. Or whatever, whatever. He keep me, he keep me right, y'all. So anyway. So, and again, here for this window, we're going to be putting some um, blinds up, cordless blinds or whatever. And he can see out of this window and see the Kennedy and the Noah's uh, window. So, that's cool. So, anyway, and then this is his closet. Um, again, this is like the 1% <laughs> that's not done uh, for just right now, just to keep everything organized. He has bins. Um... These are a lot of his little um, workbooks and stuff that he studies, uh, like over the summer, just homeschool stuff. Um, and then a bunch of books. He loves books. So, but yeah, I do plan on redoing this whole closet where a babe is going to build built in shelving instead of these wire shelves. So, all this is going to go bye bye. But for right now, it's clean, it's neat, and you know it serves its purpose so we'll just we'll leave it for now but but uh all of the closets pretty much look like this so until you know we get everything done that is pressing that we really really want to have done this this can wait i mean it, it's not hurting anybody i'll probably take a tension rod or something and put curtains up here so we can keep it closed or whatever but josh and he also is teaching him is teaching him to organize his things and put things back where they go so that's another you know purpose that it serves so yeah and then we got this little toy bin yeah you showed them that earlier yeah. it's still in the box yeah when that's... it was in a box yeah so yeah this is uh all of his his little toys and stuff and of course he got toys in that bin and toys in that bin and, and... still the box of toys out in the comics <laughs> right storage and so yeah and believe us we have gone through them and have sorted through them and have given them away and have thrown some away and he this child still has 11 million toys so yeah but yeah this is Joshi's room I'm really really happy with the way that it turned out I mean aside from just little other little decor items or what oh I know what it was the I want to put a cubby system here like up underneath his TV so, because eventually all of the books that are in his closet are going to be underneath here in a little cubby system. So, that that's coming. Um, but yeah, that's it. Real simple, real clean. And he loves it. And that's all I care about. You want to show them the bed, baby? All right, right y'all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, stepping up to the main event. As you see, she told you about the Yashis. <laughs> Awesome bed. Joshy, let's show them how to convert your bed. Right? We take this off, we take this off. And what do we say goop for that? Alright, so hold this. So you slide this bottom mattress Eat. down just about three inches. You slide it up. You flip this desk over. Now Joshy has all that play space right there. You got a little desk to work on. And as simple as when you once go down, flip the desk back over. Get your all of the That's a mommy nice clean uh just made bed. Make sure you get your all of the 
Make sure all of them are straight. Nobody cares. Make sure all of them are straight. Then we put the pillow back on there. So mommy don't beat us. And you see that? It's back to my tuck job, y'all. See? It'd be your own family. So yes, we do have the same shirt on today. We do. We're repping. I don't know if you can see that. Happy, Happy hubby, hubby handyman service. That's right. That's right. So we have ventured out. And I will say this, and that is not just because this is my husband, the love of my life. He is very, very uh, modest with his skill job. He is way more than a handyman. But that's coming from me. I know I could be biased. She biased. But I'm telling y'all, if you are in this area and you looking for to have some work done on your home, this is this is the man right here. He will do it. Very, very detail oriented, hard working, very professional. And I don't take a lunch. Yeah. Anyways, we love y'all. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. <laughs> drop us a line. Um, until next time. Shalom. Shalom.